And a favourite jumps from box seven. He is Captain Osti on the downgrade, set and ready for the first. And they're racing. Good jump from Knock Knock Lady. Isla Gladys goes underneath it and also Captain Osti in the early three. Back on the inside, time to find in company with Go With It. About a length and a half back to Blearly Alive and the two at the back are Corborn Banksy racing on the outside of Taylor Rose. As Knock Knock Lady comes into the straight, Captain Osti on the outside takes over and Captain Osti beats Knock Knock Lady. Time to find would have been the third one home. Then we had Go With It and Isla Gladys. Further back in the field was Blearly Alive with Taylor Rose and last to go by would have been Corborn Banksy. Set and ready for the second. And racing this time, good speed, Fly My Pretty. Also showing up early was Miss Sarah, and also there, Boot the Cash with Do More. Back in the pack is he's a Carlos, getting a little bit tight there off the top. Breakthrough is there with him, with Whirly Ralston trying to track into it. Madam Razor at the back with Do More, as up comes uh, Fly My Pretty going to go back to back. Fly My Pretty goes home to score from Miss Sarah. Third across would have been he's a Carlos ahead of Whirly Ralston. They were followed in by Breakthrough, and then the next one where there we have, where we had Madam Razor with Do More, and there was one at the back of the field and that would have been Boot the Cash, but Fly My Pretty on the back of her maiden successor on Thursday. Goes ahead with the job and does it again. And racing in good speed here from Red Sky, Mighty Monica, and also going forward, the favourite Corborn Rave now hits the lead. Back and forth, where's the cat trying to make up a bit of ground? Mighty Monica got checked there, and Major Tom further back in company with Exact Master. Mighty Monica now third to last, second to last, Coleridge Ainsley, and out the back door was a sip it sweeter, but it's all favourite. Corborn Rave gets home. To beat second home would have been Red Sky ahead of where's the cat. They were followed in by, we have Major Tom with Exact Master, and the last three to go by would have been Mighty Monica with Coleridge Ainsley. Lee and zip it, sweetie. She was at the back. Sitting ready to go for the fourth. Westerly wind out of five. Just the field of seven. Set. And racing and take on me. Show good speed, fresh up. So did this time Pedro down on the inside and Legree. Wider on the track was Madam Knocker trying to get into it there. Bit of trouble back there with No No Romeo impacted onto Legree. And getting underneath them would have been Fiery Conquest and Westerly Wind. As they come down, Madam Knocker goes for home here. Westerly Wind down the th throughout the inside, but uh, Madam Knocker goes home the better from Westerly Wind. Now, third home, we had Fiery Conquest, who will get it from this time Pedro. And then the last three home would have been there. Uh, we had Take on me with Legree and No No Romeo. No luck in the running and he's been the last to go by. Money on the move, almost there. 
and they're racing and Thrilly Mayhem showed a little bit of speed, not, not as much as LaRue and now Russian Doll Thursday's winner goes to the front here from LaRue, Thrilly Mayhem tracking to it at wider on the track and Lato is up hand here today in fourth, further back to Sky High Levi as they go down the back ahead of Tennessee Ave, Versatile Richie and there's one out the back and that is Diamond Wok but it's Russian Doll looking to go back to back from what she showed here three days ago and she goes for home here it's, uh, clear of about four lengths from Thrilly Mayhem the favourite chasing hard and a get back to LaRue but it's all Russian Doll, she gets the back-to-back -back win from Trilly Mayhem. Third across would have been LaRue, and then they were followed in by We Had. Lato's got an improved effort. Then uh, further back in the field with there, we had uh, Sky High Levi and Cutney with uh, Versatile Richie and Tennessee Ave, and Diamond Walk was towards the uh, tail of the field all the way. Realfashion.com series, third heat, third and final heat. And they're racing a little bit slow away was Yambler Fly showing speed early was Asia Rosti putting herself into the race but Rosa's getting dragged back with the favourite Shelby King who's out the back door. Now going back to the leading few we've got Very Chilly on the outside of Asia Rosti uh, right there is found Robin and in behind the mirror was Yambler Fly and Asher Patel up they come. Very Chilly Very Chilly puts the head in front of I think Asia Rosti and found Roman pretty tight for second. They were followed in by Asher Patel and Yambler Fly. Further back would have been Bombogue Shelby King and Bit Rosso didn't have all favours after the favourite Shelby King seemed to drag him back through the field, he would have been the last to go by. Ready for the first leg of pick six. Last one, middle distance. And they're racing, and a good even line here showing up early was all the milk. Going up forward was Judge to excel and reel on Rose right in the pack with Miss Pyro wanting to run uh, sidewards. Further back is Boss Appeal. Back in the field we go to Ike Jones, and tailing right out of it was Jaguar. Down the back they go here, and all the milk's cleared out by about five lengths from Miss Pyro, second on the outside of Armistice Day. Further back and forth is reel on Rose, trying to track into it now is Ike Jones. Further back to Judge to excel. Forget about Boss Appeal, and to the back Jaguar, but all the milk goes for home. All the milk too good first leg of pick six goes the way of all the milk second was Armistice Day Ike Jones set the line well for third followed in by we had uh, I think a reel on Rose may have got fourth ahead of Judge to Excel uh, there was uh, Miss Pie Raw Jaguar uh, which uh, would have been the last to go by at the 603, set and ready. And they're racing, good early speed here from 7-9 up to the first corner, Bumbling Gold just goes up and behind it now, and in behind them there is on the house, down they come. Further back running on out wide is Thrilly Marty, down towards the inside was David Zosti and company with Corborn Penny, and then last of all there is Hip Boost, and one up there just ahead of that was our Pinador. Down the back they go, David Zosti, the favourite, he, he clears away here by about two and a half. From 7-9 in second, running on is Thrilly Marty, about three and a half back to on the house, who's now struggling and Bumbling Gold underneath it. David Zosti, the favourite, is getting tired, here comes Seven Iron and Thrilly Marty right on the outside of the track and Thrilly Marty got up to beat Seven Iron third home would have been, now we have Bubbling Gold with the favourite David Zosti tiring in the final stages, Corborn Penny was next in with Alpinador, hip boost and one of the last to go by would have been on the house
third leader picked six as well. Favourite from six, Trident Lotto. And Racing Trident Lotto was away okay. Thrilling issues, the best of them out. Mahoney down on the inside, showed speed. Trident Lotto, the favourite up there in third, now trying to get out of a pocket. Sectioned underneath it, further back to Chow for now with Corborn Bully and Big Bolton at the tail. Weezy appeal up, they come. Mahoney goes for home here from on the outside, and sectioned. And Mahoney took out the first leg of the quaddy from sectioned home for second. Now, third, we had a line up there. We had a thrilling issues with them there was Corborn Bully and also Big Bolt wasn't far away. Trident Lotto, the favourite, no luck today. Further back in the field was Wheezy Appeal and Chow for now. Setting ready for the first leg of the final treble. Fourth leg of pick six, setting ready. And racing, jumping well there was Lafayette showing up early pink bouquet. And just getting squeezed out of it in the early stages was the favourite catch of five being relegated towards the back of the pack. Now Newton Willow currently lies third ahead of Mackin and three lengths away. Back on its inside there we've got Starbound. About two and a half lengths back to Diva Road ahead of Catch a Fire the favourite. And Indy Road is last of all. Pink bouquet off the top leads here by length and a half. Now to its inside hooking under it there was Lafayette and further back to Newton Willow and company with Starbound. But pink bouquet is going to do enough. Pink bouquet has beaten Lafayette. Now third was tight. Starbound or Newton Willow was right there. We'll leave that one to the judge. They were followed in by. We had Diva Road and company with Catcher Fire. Further back in the pack would have been Mackinnon. And there was a, another one back there with them as well. First leg of the final double also, almost there. And racing. Good speed here from Proven Shelley. She shows up early from Hot Lass. Down on the inside, Agent Van Elden looks to quicken up with Cosmic Mac and company with Ima Spice, who now runs into second. Further back in the field is Hot Lass and company with Charlie's Funds and Louis Licious. But up comes Proven Shelley. She's going to prove them wrong today. Down on the inside, Ima Spice trying, but Proven Shelley, Ima Spice, and third, I think, would have been Cosmic Mac. They were ahead of. We had Louis Licious and Big Time Drifter. In fact, Big Time Drifter, Louis Licious, then Hot Lass, Agent Van Elden, and dropping out to be the last of them home would have been Charlie's funds. And racing, good speed here, Ted Bale. Lock and Var Valero goes and matches strides with it, and Real on Rumba shows up early from the inside trap. Shooting forward early, uh, there was Beau Ravage in the middle stages with Utah Bolt. Further back to endorse with Chance Amino, Power Crusher, but it's Lock and Var Valero goes for home here down on the inside. Dead Bale and chasing hard, Utah Bolt. Lock and Var Valero took out the last, has beaten. Now, second time, I think Utah Bolt ahead of Dead Bale, and they were followed in by Beau Ravage. In that pack there, we would have had endorse with it, was Real on Rumba, and the last two at the back of Power Crusher. Crusher and chance on me.